The declaration was issued by Major General Mohammad Bagheri, the Joint Chief of the Armed Forces of Iran. He said that if Israel persists in its actions or attempts to undermine Iran's sovereignty and territorial integrity, the operation conducted tonight will be significantly more powerful, with all of their infrastructure being targeted. Baghari further indicated that Iran's specialized military unit, the Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, stands prepared to initiate another missile strike against Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has cautioned that Iran will encounter significant repercussions should it launch an attack on Israel. On Tuesday, October 1, Iran launched over 180 ballistic missiles targeting multiple installations in Israel. Among these were the hypersonic Fatah missiles, which are estimated to reach speeds of up to 10,000 miles per hour. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, of Iran stated that the assault was directed at three military bases located in Tel Aviv, the capital of Israel. Netanyahu convened a meeting with his Security Council following the recent attack by Iran. Prior to the meeting, he issued a cautionary statement regarding Iran's actions. Furthermore, Netanyahu asserted that the attack launched by Iran had not succeeded. He emphasized that Israel's defense system played a crucial role in neutralizing the threat, highlighting its status as the most advanced in the world. Iran is perceived as lacking comprehension regarding their resolve to defend themselves and respond to aggression. Leaders such as Yahya Sinwar of Hamas, Mohammed Deif of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, and Chief Military Commander Fawad Sukha have all failed to grasp this notion. It is likely that those in Tehran share this misunderstanding as well. They will come to realize that any entity that launches an attack against them will also face retaliation from Israel.